Hi guys, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Matthew and I'm here to show you around this 2010 Nissan X-Trail. As you can see from the front, it is in the stunning black. You do have that chrome center Nissan um, emblem there as well. You've got the chrome grilling um, as well. Yeah, and you've got the really big headlights, which gives you an even spread of light across the road at night time as well. This model does come standard with the fog lights as well, which is great um, for being seen and seeing um, through thick fog as well. Working our way down the driver's side of the vehicle to our first alloy wheel. Does have a little bit of wear to it, um, but being a 2010 model, um, I wouldn't expect it to be perfect. And you've still got heaps of tread left on there as well. Colour match side mirrors and chrome door handles. And you do have your indica indicator integrated into your um, side fender as well. The paintwork on this car presents in great condition. There is no marks for me to point out on this side of the vehicle at all. Um, if I'm being super picky, there is a little mark there, but it's already been touched up. Looking at our second alloy wheel, presents in great condition, better than the first one. A little bit of wear on it, just through here. Um, the other bits, just a little bit of grease from where they put the tyre on, um, but it does present in great condition and there's heaps of tread on that tyre. Working our way around to the back of the vehicle, this is an STL model. Um, so you do have that badging and you've got the X-Trail badging as well. This car comes fitted with a um, aftermarket reverse parking camera, which is great for when you're reversing. Reverse parking lights, uh, reverse lights are down the bottom, just down here as you can see. And you've also got the high mounted stoplight as well, uh, which makes it easier for people that are in higher vehicles to be able to see if you're braking or not. Just opening up the boot so you can see inside. One of my favourite things about these older X-Trails is all the hiding compartments. So you can lift this whole floor up, it is in two pieces, and you've still got plenty of space to hide stuff. You've also got a 12 volt socket in the back here, just here, and you've also got um, the seats that do fold all the way down, and you can just fold that centre middle piece down as well if you've got something long that needs to go down the centre, and still got two people sitting in the back. Oh. Closing up the boot and working our way down the passenger side now. Again, the paintwork presents in great condition. Looking at our third um, alloy wheel, presents really well. And there is a, just a little bit of mark, scuff mark through there, um, but you've still got heaps of tread left on these tyres as well. Working our way to our fourth and final wheel. This is um, probably the one that is prone to be hitting the gutter the most, but it does present in great condition. There is just a little bit of dirt on it, and I apologise for that, um, but it does present in great condition and there's heaps of tread on there. What we're going to do next is we're going to pop the bonnet and check out the engine underneath. Alright guys, just pop the bonnet on this Nissan X-Trail. It does have a four-cylinder 2.5 litre petrol engine and it is a six-speed automatic. This vehicle does have a four-star ANCAP safety rating and it does have six airbags. This car does have a 65 litre fuel tank you know, on average you get about 9.5 litres to the 100 kilometres, giving you roughly about 680 k's to the tank of fuel. Alright guys, here we are inside the Nissan X-Trail. Just going to show you some of the features of this vehicle. Such off with the driver's side armrest here where you do have all four window buttons. Uh, window locking button, central locking and a little joystick to change the um, angle of your side mirrors. Looking at our steering wheel, it is a pretty simple steering wheel. Now you do have all your entertainment controls and Bluetooth controls on this left hand side and your cruise control on the right hand side. Looking through at our indicator stalk, your um, headlights are on here you, by twisting them on and off and you do have your windscreen wipers on the opposite side. Working our way into the centre, you do have an aftermarket head unit that has been put in here so it does have the reverse parking camera as well and you've got your um, sat nav in there as well. You can also play a DVD through here, you've got um, digital radio, you've got normal radio, you've got Bluetooth audio, USB, um, auxiliary, you can plug your iPod into it as well. So you've got everything that you need in this entertainment system. A little storage con um, compartment here and you've got the remote to your um, entertainment system as well. Another thing about the Nissans is it does have storage compartments everywhere so if I do miss one I apologise, just like these cup holders. Um, that are up on either side as well. Just down here, you do have your climate control, all your hard buttons to change that, and you've got a 12 volt socket down there as well. 
another little storage compartment um, you got your front heated seats they do have high and low and you got your four-wheel drive selector as well two large cup holders hard park brake oh, and a large center console as well what I'll do is I'll get the cameraman to do a quick pan around the interior of this vehicle for a 2010 it's only done 86,000 Ks so the leather is in, still in great condition and so is the interior so I do recommend you come down and view this for yourself Alright guys, that sums up our walk around video of this 2010 Nissan X-Trail. Hope it has given you a good insight to how well this vehicle does present. Do recommend you come down, take it for a test drive and view it for yourself. This car does also qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan and what that is, it covers you for 5 years up to 200,000 kilometres of mechanical and electrical protection. It does also give you up to 10 years of platinum roadside assistance as well. If you do want um, to take this car for a test drive or have any more questions for us, make sure you contact one of our consultants on 9907 055. My name's Matthew, thanks for watching.